One of the arachnids you may come across in Costa Rica is the scorpion. These creatures have eight legs, two very large pinchers, and a pair of small but stout mandibles. Lesson one in tropical living, always check your boots. In Costa Rica, there are 14 species divided into four families. Scorpions hide out in the day under rocks and bark, then come out at night to hunt spiders and insects. They have elaborate mating behavior with courtship dances sometimes lasting for days. After the dance marathon, a spermatophore is passed on to the female. After two months to over a year, as many as 50 young are born. They crawl onto the back of mom, where they get transportation and protection. The babies get a free ride until their first molt, at which time life gets tough. You're on your own now, babies. Scorpions have these two central eyes, as well as up to five lateral eyes on each side. Never attack a scorpion from the side. The two pinchers are for grabbing their prey and help in defense. The chelicera are special jaw-like adaptations that are used for feeding. Scorpion families can be told apart by comparing the sternum, this underside plate. Also on the underside is the pectin, a weird comb-like structure that scorpions use to sense the type of substrate they find themselves on and for feeling vibrations. While hundreds of people are killed every year in Mexico and Brazil by scorpion stings, there are no deadly scorpions in Costa Rica. There are lots of myths about these arachnids. If you are stung, apply ice to the area and just tough it out. However, certain people are more allergic and should look for a doctor if the symptoms continue for more than a few days. So where were you planning to go again? Um, I was thinking about me, maybe going down to Corcovado. There's a rainbow festival going on. There's an article about it on page two, you should check it out. Cool. Oh my god. Oh cool. Oh, here, no, don't kill the scorpion, they're really great. They get in your house, eat all the cockroaches. Yeah, but don't they sting people? Yeah, they can, but it's not that bad. It's not that toxic. I've stepped on a few. I'm okay. Really? Yeah. They're pretty cute, too. <laughs> cute? Tell that to this roach. You can see why some folk like to keep the scorpions around. Cheap and effective house cleaning. If you live near the forest, eventually army ants will even remove the scorpions. Why does everyone like to play with their food? One of the coolest things about scorpions is that they fluoresce under UV light. That's right, the black light of discos. The reaction is caused by a layer in the skin which may play some sort of sensory function. Notice the baby on her back doesn't react to the UV light. Their nocturnal mating dances are more complicated than the Texas two-step, but often have a happy ending. One can find the diplocentrid scorpion by looking carefully under rocks and bark. This small scorpion has a nasty sting, much more so than the previous family, but it tends to avoid houses. It builds tunnels to hide in the day and then hunts for small insects and other arthropods during the night. Okay, Rapil. These bizarre arachnids are soft body and have forward pointing scissor like chelicera. Although hunters of insects and spiders, they have no venom and are no threat to people. Wind scorpions are in two families and are not well studied in Costa Rica. These really are from planet Earth. They have no venom and can only bite, which is no problem for a person. But imagine being half an inch long. Yeah. 
this beast can scare the caca out of anything. It can be found in dark, humid places, like under bark, hollow logs, leaf litter, and in caves. They look like they get along well with bats and other cave inhabitants. Tailless whip scorpions carry their eggs under their abdomen in what is called an egg sac, but really looks more like an egg carton. but it looks dangerous. Many species of false or pseudoscorpions live and travel on the backs of beetles. These small creatures lack a segmented tail like other similar arachnids, and they have venom glands on the tips of the pincers. Those that aren't using their frequent flyer miles live in the soil, under rocks, and leaf litter. Opelonids, or harvestmen, have a common ancestor with scorpions, but they look different because their head, thorax, and abdomen are fused into a single structure, and they have outrageously long legs. Also, their abdomen is segmented. Harvestmen are omnivorous and will chow down on small arthropods, dead or alive, fungus, and plant matter. Their two eyes look sideways, they are totally harmless to people, but they can emit foul-smelling chemicals for protection. There are some 45 families and over 7,000 species of harvestmen worldwide. Unlike spiders, they have a penis, and they don't produce silk. Many live in large colonies that certainly look freaky when they begin to move and bounce. This may give the impression of a furry mammal as a defense strategy. Diversity is high in the neotropics, and many species can be found in moist habitats, like in tree holes and under rocks. The gunny leopards have shorter legs that vary in length, but the hind legs are the longest, and they have well-developed pedipalps that look like legs. Their Costa Rican name, pendejo, means fearful. 